Today's video is about a laptop that I had to replace. So this is my old Acer laptop that I brought with me from the US. Wi-Fi stopped working, the battery stopped charging, and it kind of got damaged a little bit over here as you can see. And now the screen stopped working. A little bit more floppy than usual. So I ordered a new laptop and I bought another Acer brand laptop, the Acer Nitro 5. It has an AMD processor, I believe it's a 2600H and a GTX 1650 NVIDIA video card. I'm not happy about the NVIDIA video cards, but that's okay. And it's kind of flashy looking see nitro there on the back of it now there's a few things you're going to want to check when you first get your new laptop uh, you want to go into your bios or what some people still call cmos check and make sure it has the right amount of memory in there the right processor uh, check and make sure a few of the settings are set the way you want them set Uh, if you got virtual machine enabled, you can set up two different operating systems. But I don't do that, so I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to show you the steps in the video. With the Acer brand laptops, it's always either F2 or delete when you first power up to get into the device. So stay tuned. Alright, so before we start anything, the booklet said it could take up to 30 minutes for the first startup of the unit. It's probably going to be finishing installing like windows and stuff like that. So alright Mark, let's try it this time and see what happens. There, hey look, the blue light came on. Oh, and by the way, this laptop, the charger port, is on the back. And that's a good thing. So let's try going into BIOS here. That was pretty fast. I want to check and make sure I got my memory and stuff in here. Yep, there it is, 16 gigabytes. And let's go into main, system date and time. Looks correct. We don't want fast boot enabled. So the hard drive disk 0, 1, and 2 ports are all enabled. Boot, set for UFE, Windows Boot Manager, of course. Security, there's really nothing in here right now, so now we can go ahead. As you can see, it says 144 hertz here. The Ryzen processor, T4 CTX video. So right now, there you go, see? Thinks I want Indonesia language, but we don't want that. Let's go up here to English. They said it for United States, not English. Alright, right keyboard layout, US, yes. So the cursor works good. Let's left click on here. Add a second keyboard layout. No, so we're going to skip that. So the mouse pad seems to be very interactive. Connect me to a network. Okay, but I got to remember the password. I think I remember what it is. Let me try this. See if I remember that correctly or not. Yeah, it's just 
transferable by other PCs. Hey, I think we got connected. It says connected, secured. Oh, it's so fast. Yeah, this laptop is fast. Yeah. That's why I wanted the AMD processor, not the Intel. Now let's see what's new from Windows. And I was going to want to start update, uh, downloading upgrades over the Wi-Fi. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select Accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no way. Yeah, if you decline, no Windows operating system, so you're just kind of screwed, unless you're going to run Linux. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. Oh, I want a Microsoft account. So they want your Microsoft account, email address, and password. So now I gotta find the password. Alright, so it looks like we got that password correct this time. Want to set up a pin? Yes, we do. Using a pin, this four digit pin, is much easier to sign in with, but you just have to remember what it is. Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. Thinking and typing, I always turn that off. Find my device, online speech recognition, it's nice. Location is okay, diagnostic. You can always turn any of this stuff off later. So we'll hit accept. experience as you set up your device. I'm going to set it up for gaming because I also do video editing with it. Can we do multiples or just one? No, nope, we can do multiple. Business entertainment, watch videos and browse. I'm a little too old for schoolwork anymore. Except Link your phone and PC using a Microsoft app that can work some magic between your devices. We'll send you a text to get everything set up. Just type your phone number and press send. We can do that later if we want, so we're going to tap on no thanks. Want to automatically save files and photos to OneDrive for some added peace of mind? Save files to this PC. There's an option, only save files to the PC or do it to OneDrive. I like to only save it to my PC. The government gets enough information from the cloud. Your PC comes with a free one month trial of Microsoft 365 Family. Should we get it ready for you to use? Sure. Try it for free. Okay, here's where you add your credit card details. See, this is a bad thing here. We don't want to do that. I'm going to tap on the back arrow up over here and go back and tell them, no, we don't want to try it. Comes with a free one month trial of Microsoft okay. 365. We don't Family. want it. Should we? Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Sure, you can. 
can. Your device manufacturer would like your contact info to send you updates and such. Okay, let's do it. No, we don't want offers and updates. Or the Acer user experience. And no, Acer may not accept my information. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. This will probably be installing Windows updates for like two weeks. Every time you turn it off and back on. They. Yeah. The computer will always update. So I got things I'm going to have to install on this computer that I have on the other one. Programs, applications, yeah. data files, and all that crap. You better download Google Chrome. What? Google Chrome. Yeah, let's put Google Chrome on here. Alright, let's see uh, personal lot, or, uh, display settings are capable of. It's supposed to be 1920 by 1080. And it's set. 1920 by 1080. Check out the device manager. Now we have to go to our device manager. Let's open up the screen a little bit. Find the cursor. There it is. And let's see what we got in here for display adapters. Right there, we got our NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. Processors. Ryzen 5 4600H, 6 port processor. Everything is all set up in there. So that concludes our unboxing today and checking and verifying the information that I was supposed to have in the computer, the new laptop. Alright, thanks for watching. Say bye, Mark. Bye.